Welcome, old friends and new, to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. Our existence on Earth is not infinite. Shortly after the first breath of life came to mankind, so too did the ultimate reality of losing someone loved deeply. Mourning and grief, therefore, are as old as life itself and have been the impassioned topic of many well-known philosophers, scholars, poets, prophets, playwrights, and many more over the centuries. Well, I'd like to share my favorite pieces of these works here with you today. One inspiration, one episode for each day of the year. Each remains in my cherished collection and continues to help me on my painful journey towards hope and healing. So join me now, please, as I present to you today's daily inspiration. I do hope that perhaps it might serve you as it has me. January 1st, a new year, and my wishes for a year we travel a little farther down our healing journey together. Your New Year's Day daily inspiration is one from the great Washington Irving. Now, he might have had an imagination with such popular works as Rip Van Winkle and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, but he had his heart in the right place when it comes to the storyline of loss. He gave the world, and me, the following to consider. There is a sacredness in tears. They are not the mark of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than 10,000 tongues. They are the messengers of overwhelming grief, of deep contrition, and of unspeakable love. Great, great words. And I'd like to tell you what I find in his words that ease my heart just a little. Irving speaks of tears, and to me, how they are the mind and heart's healing mechanism. There is grief. For me, the pains are of loss, of course, for my son Jonathan, who passed away from a rare heart defect. There is contrition, remorse, feeling very sorry and even guilty for something that has happened. Like me, you might have felt or are feeling false guilt from your loss, something you think you could have done or something you could have done different that might have changed things. Mine was false guilt. Perhaps yours is as well. And unspeakable love? For me, I see this not as words that cannot be spoken, but words that cannot be found. Such as the unconditional love I had for my child, and still do. It was levels of love I had never felt before, and words could never be used to describe that feeling. Was that Irving's unspeakable in his work? For me, it reads and, and feels the same. And it's all about feelings when it comes to healing, correct? But again, Irving writes of sacred tears, powerful, more eloquent than a thousand tongues. Tears, so taboo for a man, can show self and, and others, but more importantly self, that healing is taking place. Recognizing and acknowledging our own tears is a soul's way of letting the mind know we are confronting our pains, our false guilt, and the misperception that we have lost unconditional love, or unspeakable love. While we know we will never completely heal, we soon discover as we move down the path of healing, we never leave our lost loved one behind. Irving tells me that our tears show we are healing. Do you recognize that from your tears? So that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently, and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we share together in the comments section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers, and maybe, maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am R. Glenn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose.